In this video, we'll show you how to become a full-stack developer in 50 days. We'll give you a roadmap of the skills you'll need as well as free and paid resources to help you learn. Are you what is full-stack development? It's a type of software development that involves working on both the front and back end of a website or app. It's a great career choice for people who want to be versatile developers and work on a variety of different projects. But how do you become a full-stack developer? Well, there are a lot of different technologies that you could learn, but in this video, we'll focus on the MERN stack. That's MongoDB, Express, React, and Node. So what exactly is the MERN stack? Well, it's like a set of building blocks that you can use to construct an amazing website or app. You've got React for the front end, Node and Express for the back end, and MongoDB as your database. But the best part about MERN is that it's all based on JavaScript. So you can use the same language throughout your project. For the first five days, you should start with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Do not directly jump to learning React or other frameworks libraries. Over the next five days, you should work on mastering CSS. While it can be tricky, a solid understanding of CSS is essential. However, do not jump immediately to using Tailwind or Bootstrap as they are CSS frameworks that build on top of CSSS. Didn't. Over the next 10 days, don't wait until you've completely mastered JavaScript before starting to build projects. While it's important to learn JavaScript, it's also important to get hands-on experience. Many companies will test your front-end development skills with a coding challenge that doesn't allow you to use frameworks or libraries. For the next 10 days, learn React. React is a JavaScript library created by Facebook. It's one of the most widely used front-end libraries among tech companies, from early-stage startups to big tech companies like Microsoft and Facebook. Some important concepts in React include class and function-based components, state and props, lifecycle hooks, fetching data from APIs, controlled and uncontrolled components, routing in React, and the context API and React hooks. For the next seven days, learn Node.js and Express. Express is a lightweight and flexible Node.js web framework that provides a robust set of features for building web and mobile applications. Many large companies use Java or Java-like languages for their backends, while smaller startups often use Python or Node.js with Express. Express makes it easy to build a robust backend while staying in the familiar JavaScript ecosystem. It is. For the next five days, we'll learn about MongoDB. MongoDB is a NoSQL database that stores data as JSON-like documents. It's a very popular database technology because of its flexibility and ease of use. It's also very scalable, and it provides great support for indexing and replication. MongoDB has an intuitive API that makes it easy to get started with. Gladly, I'll provide some additional context for these resources. W3Schools is a great resource for absolute beginners. It's very beginner-friendly, and it covers all the basic topics in a way that's easy to understand. It also provides interactive exercises so you can practice what you've learned. MDN WebDocs, on the other hand, is a more advanced resource. It's great for developers who already have a basic understanding of HTML and CSS, and it goes into more depth on the topics covered on W3S Schools.